ramp to the parking garage looks like the best way in. Figure out what they're doing here. See if you can find them. Tag anything useful, announce them in a recovery team later. And blow the shit out of anything you gain. We gotta secure that ordinance.
neutralize that fucking thing by any means necessary. Damn it. The salvage crew just ran into those reinforcements. They need backup. Vital signs critical. factory is out of action and they lost a big stockpile of ordnance. Throw in the fact that the settlements can scavenge those workbenches and tools, and I'd say it's been a pretty good day. Yo, what's good? This is the Power Man. Today I got another build video for y'all. This is my Aces and Eights headshot build, man. With TU10 on the way, Aces and Eights is getting a little buff. I think everybody is sleeping on so basically what they did is they took the aces and eights backpack talent which allows you to flip two cards on a headshot and they moved it into the gear set itself so now with the gear set in tu10 when you hit a headshot you'll be able to flip two cards so when you hit a headshot now and you flip those two cards you'll be able to get your amplified damage way faster than you ever did and sometimes if you get like four of a kind or three of a kind and you hit two or three headshots you have unlimited amplified damage. That's why I think a lot of people are sleeping on this gear set. Along with Glass Cannon or, you know, the new talent Headhunter and Vigilance. That's going to be crazy, man. And I can't wait to test it out. But I built this build to be set up for TU10. So you can just go ahead and hop in it. So further ado, let's just get into the build. Alright, we're running a sharpshooter. The main reason we're running sharpshooter is for the talents one in the head. You get 15% uh, headshot damage with marksman rifles and 15% stability. And you also make sure your marksman rifle uh, damage is also turned on. Alright, we got a paratrooper SVD hitting at 418.4. We got 15 marksman rifle damage, 111 headshot damage, and 10% damage to target out of cover. And we got lucky shot. Magazine capacity is increased by 20%. Miss shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. So you want lucky shot on your paratrooper SVD. These guns the MMRs do not hold a lot of bullets so you, your miss shots count and you also want to be able to spam those headshots so you can get them and get that amplified damage quicker on the mods we got 15% stability plus 5 rounds plus 5 crit hit chance and plus 20% stability and minus 10 optimal range you need stability on your MMRs but with TU10 weapon handling will also help you out as well but real quick, I'm going to just go over the Nemesis. It's in that 2.2 million, which is crazy. We got 15% marksman rifle damage, 111 headshot damage, and 9.5 critical hit chance. And y'all already know what the Nemesis does. The longer you hold the shot, the more damage your output. And that's it, basically. <clears throat> and this is all guard rope, too. But let's get into the gear set. 
Alright, so let's go over the Aces and Eights brand set. The two piece gives you 15% marksman rifle damage. The three piece gives you 20% headshot damage. The four piece gives you dead man's hand. Flip a card when landing shots with a marksman rifle. After five cards are flipped, the damage of your next shot is amplified by 30%. More shots are enhanced, the better the hand is revealed. Four of a kind gives you four amplified shots. Full house gives you three amplified shots. And aces and eights gives you two amplified shots. So imagine with TU10, all of your headshots will flip two cards. So if you get four of a kind, you'll be able to get almost a limited amount of amplified shots if you can hit your headshots, which which makes this gear set it's going to be crazy with TU10. But let's get into the stats we got 15 weapon damage 10 headshot damage and 5.7 credit chance on the chest piece we got the sacrifice the one piece gives you 10 headshot damage we got 14.3 weapon damage 9.6 headshot damage 12 critical hit damage and 5.7 credit chance and we got perfect last cannon all damage you deal is amplified by 30 percent all damage you take is amplified by 60 percent so with tu10 you might want to try headhunter right here and it might be crazy, you know what I'm saying? It might be absolutely insane. I really want to try it out. And the reason I got crit chance right here in the middle, because you want to get about 30% crit chance, so those amplified da amplified damage have a chance to be crits. And it's absolutely crazy with the headshots. All right, we got the aces and eights holsters. Got 15 weapon damage, 10 headshot damage. Knee pads got 15 weapon damage, 10 headshot damage. The gloves, 15 weapon damage, 10 headshot. The backpack, we got the Araldi's Holdings backpack, gives you 10% marksman rifle damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 6 crit hit chance, 12 crit hit damage, and we got a 10 headshot damage mod. And we got Vigilance, increases total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. And you know what, an MMR build, you're normally staying in the back, so you don't gotta worry about losing vigil Vigilance too much. Alright, real quickly, we're just gonna go back into the gear set so I can explain why I think this gear set is gonna be better. Alright, so say if you get four of a kind, we get four amplified shots. If we hit those headshots in TU10, all we have to do is hit two headshots and then a body shot, and we'll be able to flip another deck to get some more amplified shots. And we could constantly keep flipping those shots, and we will only have probably like one or two non amplified shots. That is going to make this build absolutely insane. So. It's crazy, but for the skills we're running the Reviver Hive and the Chem Launcher, you know, for heals and just in case we go down. Oh, uh, currently we got 418k weapon damage. We got 161 PVP weapon damage. We got 32.4 critical hit chance, 69 critical hit damage. And the reason why I went for crit hit chance is because just to balance it out, those crit headshots are absolutely insane. Sometimes I hit for like 4.3 million, um, 4.5 million when I'm playing with other people. And we got 278 headshot damage on this build. So when you crit with a headshot and it's amplified, it's insane. We got 99.3 all weapon damage bonus and 55 marksman rifle damage bonus. Alright, so real quickly we're going to go into the shooting range just so I can show y'all the damage and just how many cards we're currently flipping and how it would change. So we're going to put this on Invulnerable Elite and put it on 5 meters. Put on five. So currently, one headshot only flips one card. You flip that last card, it gives you amplified damage. So we got aces and eight. So that's two amplified shots right there. Then we have to do. That's why this gear set was lacking because only we only flip one card on shots. But now with the update, we flip two cards on shots, which is going to be nasty. So we just got full house right there. So that's three amplified shots. And real quick, I'm gonna show y'all what a crit is. We got 4.3 million on a headshot crit. And that's absolutely insane. But that's the build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. I appreciate everybody that's stopping by. Deuces.